I rise today in honor of those killed last week at Fort Hood. They, di they died serving their country, and that means they died as heroes. Tomorrow, as we honor the service and sacrifice of the brave men and women of America's military on Veterans Day, I asked all Americans to say a prayer for these 13 folks who gave the ultimate sacrifice and the 30 who were injured. Remember them and their families, their friends, and the places they call home as we pay our respects. Madam President, today flags are flying at half staff across Montana in honor of the 13 victims killed and 30 wounded. One of the men who died was a veteran of Montana's Army National Guard. Michael Grant Cahill worked throughout Montana for many years as a guardsman and as a physician's assistant. To Michael's wife, Jolene, and to all of his loved ones, Montana joins the rest of the nation in saying our thoughts and prayers are with you. What happened at Fort Hood doesn't make sense. It never will. But working together, we need to focus on keeping something like this from happening again. What can we do right now? We can keep working together to live up to the promises that we make to all of our troops while serving our country in the field or after they come home. And we can improve access to health care and mental health care that they deserve. Madam President, I join in mourning the lives lost at Fort Hood. I ask all Americans to keep those 13 heroes in their thoughts and prayers. And I urge my colleagues to keep working together to better serve all men and women who have worn our country's uniform and their families and their communities.